okay ladies and gentlemen today we'll be looking at the strength of material n5 and n6 this is uh the the, the bending of um this is a simple uh bending of beams so uh in this case we'll be concentrating uh firstly on the edge section okay this is a build up beam uh we have an edge section here and then we have an angle plate and also a rectangular bar so uh, this is our H section, which is uh, the parallel flange H section of 203 uh, times 203 times uh, 46.2 kilo, um, kilogram per meter. So this is um, the, the, the H section. And then we have the angle plate also. This is the unequal angle plate, unequal angle. Uh, so leg, this is an equal leg uh, angle. So this is uh, 100 times uh, 65 times 8. And then also we have a uh, rectangular uh, section, which is uh, 400 millimeters times uh, uh, 800, sorry, 80 millimeters. So uh, in this case, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have to calculate the, 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 the position of uh, the neutral axis, or else we can say that the centroid of uh, this uh, beam so this is a, a build up beam like so you have to uh, always take in mind that uh, the, the the force on the beam will always be um, in this direction no? so if we are applying a force here in this direction that means that the beam will be turning on the x axis so uh, let's just uh, put it uh, here say this is our x this is our x-axis and then in the middle here they say this is our y y-axis so if you apply a force uh, on top here all the beam will be turning on the x-axis so now because we have uh, this uh, is h section and then uh, this h section is not on its original uh, plate or else let's start by uh, looking at this h section on 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 our on our uh, is is 283 okay this is our h section no? so if we have this h section okay let me write here let's say that this is our h section so first of all we have to uh, know the the h now the, the, the h section uh, the way it uh, so this is an original point of an x uh, h section so if we are placed at the h section like this we have the height the side of the of the uh of this um profile or say uh, or section and then we have the thickness here in the middle which is t1 and also we have uh, this is your y-axis or yeah it's the y-axis and then you have b which uh, it's uh we can say is the breadth of uh the beam or of the flange so now now on our question we are given as like it um uh, it changed from uh this original to this point but yet we don't uh, change everything we just twist it or rotate it uh, clockwise like that and then still this is our y-axis and then now this is still is our x-axis the way it is you just uh, rotate the the point so now if uh, on on our question you apply the force here that means now this beam will be uh, will be uh, for, will be bending on y uh, axis or on uh, okay on my axis so now what you have to uh, to to do is you have to uh, keep in mind that okay if it's going to bend on y axis therefore you'll be looking at y i y y and then also now uh, if it's a uh, bend like this we'll be looking at this will be the half of the beam here will be oh sorry this uh, half here it's uh, t1 yeah so therefore you'll be also calculating t1 to look at the, when you want to calculate the the the, the y or the, the 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 point to its uh center so which is going to be y so we're going to look at t y and also take the area of this uh um this one. so let's say this is number one and then we're going to read it uh, on our table like this and then we want t1 so t1 is uh, seven 
point three uh, millimeters to one seven point three millimeters. The area is what? Uh, now is the area here. Um, so our area. Oh boy. Okay, so here is our area here, which is um, this is our area. Here our area is going to be fifty. Uh, 5.882 uh, uh, times 10 to the power negative 3 uh, square meters so this is our area and also we have to uh, uh, look at the 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 i uh, the i y y here is going to be on uh, this point is here is where is it okay this point i said i y y is a uh, 15 point uh, 3 uh, 9 times 10 to the power negative 6 uh, yeah so uh, this is uh, the data that you need uh, to, 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 to complete everything there uh, on uh, this uh, on, 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 on our question so now that you know the area and you know this T, T1 so T1 said is the thickness of uh, this uh, flange uh, of this uh, edge section here so if uh, this uh, flange is has a thickness here we're looking at the the the, the, the point or the, in in the middle of this section and then when you come to 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 the angle uh, so to the angle leg or leg angle so now this leg angle is uh, pointing like uh, this uh, and then we have two of uh, this so uh, again uh, this is what this is still is our uh, y axis and then this is our x axis right so if this is our x axis and our y axis therefore we concentrate on 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 the uh, the x or the AX which is the distance this AX is the distance or is the center of the of the of the leg angle so on on the X axis and then also we have uh, the center of the uh, Y axis the, this is a uh, Y so a is the center from the back of the leg to its center that means this is our center here so therefore we have this is our um, center to the y-axis and then this is our center to the um, to the uh, x-axis of the beam so now also now if we can uh, f we replace a force here we put a force uh, that is going down and means this angle uh, this angle plate will be bending in the x-axis so if it's bending in the x-axis we'll be concentrating on we'll be interested only on the i-x-x uh, the area uh, they say this is number two and then we also have to look at this uh, half which is our uh, a uh, x so and therefore we can uh, now complete that but first we can have to to uh, and then uh, this is our uh, unequal league which is 165 and eight and then we will uh, only interested where in the area we can write our area first which is this uh, the area is going to be uh, 1.267 uh, uh, times 10 to the power negative 3 and then also interested on the i on, on, on the y or on the ax ax is 32 uh, millimeters so it's 32.7 millimeters and then also on the ixx so on the ixx uh, this is our ixx here which is one point uh one point let's see yeah uh, it's one point uh one point two six eight uh, times ten to the power negative six okay so this is uh, the data that we need for us to be able to solve this question let's go back to our question now mm, we said we want to calculate uh, the, the the position of neutral axis in this question so this is a build up beam so then the build up beam we have the edge section uh, we have an unequal leg uh, angle and then we have uh, we have the, the this rectangular section so whenever you are calculating or if you are placing a force uh, on on top of the beam the force um, will be uh, always 
if it's a build up beam uh, will be uh, it will be turning on the y axis on the x axis so uh, if it's turning on the x axis now uh, we are looking at uh, we want to calculate the this uh, uh, this centroid or the, the position of the neutral axis. So the position of the neutral axis, it will be the center of the whole beam. So and then now to calculate our center, we have to take it from uh, this point. Then from this point, we're going to the center of the uh, of, of, of the bar. And then from this point, again, going to the center of the, 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 the angle leg. Remember, we said here we are using uh, a x so this is a x of the uh, of the beam uh, sort of the leg and then uh, in this case also from this point to the uh, to the half of or, or on the thickness of the uh, of the edge section so now so we have to calculate our y so if we want to calculate your y let's start with y1 so for y1 we said uh, y1 will be our edge section let's say this is one this this is two and then the last one at three which is the rectangular bar so now if you want to calculate your i1 uh sorry your 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 center of uh, y so it will be uh, the whole distance of the beam uh, of the of the, uh, of the rectangle which is 400 plus the half of the thickness so it will be 400 uh, millimeters plus uh, the half of uh, the, the thickness of the um, of the beam so it will be equals to uh, then uh, the half of the thickness it's um, it's a 72 so it will be 400 uh, min plus 70 uh, 73 or oh, 7.3 millimeters over 2 and then you get your 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 edge section and then your center then it will be uh, 0 point or it will be 400 um, uh, 410 uh, 3.2.65 uh, so change it into millimeters we can say 0 0.40365 uh, millimeters okay and then we go to i number uh, y2 y2 now we are looking at the center of the uh, of the leg so that means now if you uh, the, you see the leg are starting from the top of the uh, of this 400 which is the bar so therefore to get to the center of this one from starting from this point to the center of this angle uh, leg or leg angle we're going to subtract the ay in the ay uh, which is going to be uh, 400 uh, minus uh, a ay sorry ax ax which is equals to 400 uh, minus the ax we said is uh, now ax we said here uh, our ax is uh, 32.3 so this is our AX is 32.3 so 32.7 and then you get uh, your IY which is 0 0.3673 meters and then uh, the last one which is uh, number 3 is the center of the, uh, the of the bar the center of the bar it will be 400 divided by 2 and then you get 0. Point two meters right so now now that you have uh, all the the, the um, your your, uh, your your y then you can calculate your um your 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 what you call your 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 god you can calculate your neutral axis yeah your neutral axis now it will be the area number one the area of the um the area of the edge section we take the area of the A section as 5.882 uh, times 3 uh, 10 to power 3 times the, the 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 center or the distance to the center which is 0 0.432 uh, to what? 
and then plus now when you get to 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 the angle plate now the angle plate there are two of this angle plate so therefore you have to multiply the area by two so it will be two multiplied by the area of the angle plate which is uh one point uh two six seven times ten to the power negative three multiplied by the center of uh, the angle uh, plate which is the center of the angle plate which is 0 0.3673 uh, close bracket and then you add the other one the last one which is uh, the area of the uh, the area of uh, of the bar so we know this is a rectangular bar the area it will be 0 0.4 times 0 0.08 which is this uh this is the area here which is 400 the 400 is the distance to this point and then the 80 is the distance from uh this uh, base of the uh, rectangular bar and then uh multiply by uh 0 0.2 and then all over the total area now the total area of this you will be adding the area of 3 uh 5.882 times 10 to the power negative three multiple uh, plus plus the the error of this one which is two multiplied by one point uh two six seven times ten to the power negative three uh plus zero point four times zero point zero eight uh plus bracket and then you will get your centroid or your neutral axis as a zero point uh two uh, for uh, 0 0.13 meters so this is the center of the uh, of this uh, point so now if you want to calculate uh, the center uh, of uh, the neutral axis now it will be sub sorry somewhere here which is going to be this uh, i x which is the neutral axis the neutral axis is the center of the the beam Okay, so uh, tune in to the next video where we're going to calculate the moment of uh, this, uh, sorry, the moment of uh, inertia of, um, of this, uh, of this uh, beam.